Hi and welcome and I hope you're doing well. Here I have the iPhone 11. This is not the Pro, just a regular iPhone 11. As you can see that the front screen is cracked. Um, the battery is not fully charged. I need to recharge the battery afterwards. Um, but in this video here, I'd like to show you on how to replace just the front screen. Um, I'm not able to show you how to replace the back screen. Um, but for this video, we will be doing step by step on how to replace just the front screen with the LCD. Okay, uh, first you need to turn off the phone. Obviously my phone has no more battery, so it's kind of like shut off by itself already. And you need to take off the two screws from the bottom. Once you remove the two screws, you need to get a metal prying tool. This prying tool is to go ahead and cut the adhesive. This phone is water sealed, meaning that there is a double sided adhesive tape that runs all around the phone. Using the metal prying tool is to cut open the adhesive so that we can remove the screen. The adhesive is to prevent the water from going in or also prevent from any dust or dirt going inside the phone. Now once you do a screen replacement, uh, you may not have the seal again uh, to protect the phone from water resistance, but you can actually buy the seal. In this video here, I won't be reapplying the seal on the phone. I will just use whatever is left over the seal here, original seal. Uh, but if you want to replace the seal, uh, I'll have the link in the description. You can buy that little plastic rubber seal and reseal the phone all around it. Go check out the uh, description uh, below. It will direct you to either Amazon uh, or eBay for the uh, for the purchase. This one here, the screws I'm removing is a tri screw, or you call it a Y screw, and there are five of them. Okay, once you remove that and do not disconnect the cable yet, I recommend you to disconnect the battery first uh, because mine have no battery, I can actually disconnect the screen. Uh, also, if you have turned off the phone, you can disconnect the cable. But for this video purpose, the right way to do it is to disconnect the battery. So go ahead and remove the, uh, the three screws at the bottom. That three screws is hidden underneath that cable. So if you're seeing this cable here, you need to remove the three screws. All right, once you remove the three screws, go ahead and uh, remove the uh, the bracket. And the battery is connected right here. So this is the battery connector. Once you disconnected the battery, let's go ahead and disconnect the, uh, uh, the two flex cable here. Now this is the, the cable for the proximity sensor. Uh, you need to disconnect that in order to uh, do this repair. Okay, so that is the connector for the proximity sensor, which is also your ear speaker. The face ID comes from the phone itself, not the proximity sensor here. Now let's go ahead and remove the screw. It looks like the phone was be replaced before because the screw uh, are not, are not in the right position um, but if you're following along this video uh, you shouldn't be any problem it should be about the same way of removing the screws so there should be a four screws for your one two three and four but it looks like for my case I only have two screws in the right position here now the next step I'd like to sh show it to you is you want to be very careful pay a very close attention to it okay so the phone here, if you look at the new screen, it doesn't have the bracket and the old screen here has the, uh, the bracket. And this bracket here is for you to hold the proximity sensor and also the guidance for the camera when you slide it in after. Some of the new screen comes with it, some of them they don't. My one doesn't have it. So in other words, 
I need to transfer the original bracket over to the new screen uh, I know that it is not in the right position already because it was being replaced by someone else before uh, but the bottom line is you want to go getting the prying tool tuck underneath the the plastic right so you go underneath the plastic tuck the bracket kind of peel the bracket off uh, the bracket is held on by double-sided tape or a little bit like a sticky glue on it but other than that that's that's pretty much it okay so you want to remove the entire proximity sensor and the bracket all together in one big piece now once you have removed that go ahead and transfer it to your new screen So for my case, I only have two screws, but you may have four screws here. So make sure you have the screw all transferred back together. Okay, once I have that being installed, let's go ahead and try to put it back in. So the connector here is just like a uh, like a Lego. Once you find them in the right position, you can just snap it back on without any problem. So just press it in; it will snap back in uh, very easily. Now you don't have to use extremely force. They are not in a very heavy uh, way of pushing it to install. Uh, once you have them in the right position, you press it and it will just snap back in. Now this is the battery here. It might be a bit difficult to go in, but once you find the right position, you can. Um, it shouldn't be any problem to install the battery cable. Alright, so it goes back in. Now I like to put the bracket back in for now. So I have the bracket in it. It might be a bit of a challenge to put the bracket in because the cable is somewhat uh, above the the bracket. So take your time. No rush. Make sure you do not break the cable. Okay, once that thing is all in, let's go ahead and put the main bracket. This main bracket here holds on to all the flex cables. So the process of installing or replacing the iPhone 11 screen, uh, it is not that difficult to be honest. You know, it's just a lot of screws that you need to remove but ultimately it's pretty easy steps uh, you just need to have the right tools and be patient with it you should be able to do it uh, very quite easily especially if you're a handy person if you call yourself a handy guy uh, if you have done some of this repair yourself then this should be a very easy job for you um, if you're watching this video uh, that you're planning to repair your iPhone screen uh, please comment below let me know how did you do I like to I like to see that if you're able to repair the screen by yourself by following along the video so just comment below and let me know that process and um, yeah and I'd like to hear from you and if you don't mind can you please click the like button um, subscribe if you haven't 
and hit the notification bell um, yeah I'd like you to um, make more of this video for you uh, for the next coming future alright so that is all in so the next step you would like to do is make sure that this little uh, bracket clipper right here you want to slide it in to the top first make sure that it aligns to the top once it's all in go ahead and press it down it will snap back in and once it's in you can turn on the phone and make sure that it works now I know that my battery is dead but at least I know that the screen is, is in the right um, screen so let's go ahead and put the two, two screws back in and that should be it now if you have any question comment below uh, I would like to help you out if you have any question um, just so you know that the face ID would stay the same you shouldn't have any problem with the face ID um, but the screen here is not original screen so you may lose the true tone color but other than that um, it should be all good uh, also one thing if you replace with the third party screen when you turn on the phone the phone will show you that this screen is not a genuine screen just ignore the message or agree or press ok uh, that way it's just to show the uh, Apple people or the phone provider people uh, knowing that that screen was being replaced so they may avoid the warranty um, or avoid the repair uh, things like that so it's just a notification that says you may have replaced with a third party screen that's pretty much it but the rest of it should be the same um, okay so um, yeah thanks for watching until next time take care